This is a Green Line train to Salt Lake Central. Welcome to my world, my real green world. We're at the track station downtown Salt Lake City, heading over to Art Space Commons. It's only two blocks. Let's get walking. There are a lot of things in life that are important to me. My great Dane Lollaby, my family, and just having fun in this crazy world. My name is Dennis Deuce, and this blog is about sharing what my friends and I do to make our busy lives a little more green. Hi, I'm Jessica Nori, Executive Director of ArtSpace, a nonprofit. ArtSpace has gone solar because it's a responsible thing to do. What is ArtSpace? ArtSpace is a nonprofit real estate developer that's been around for over 30 years. Our mission is to revitalize neighborhoods by providing affordable housing um, as well as commercial spaces for artists, nonprofits, and small businesses. What was the reason you decided to make the move over here? Um, several reasons. We wanted to have more light coming in. And the solar power was really a great thing because it, it reduced a lot of our uh, power bills, actually. We so. work right now a lot on protecting Utah from the harmful effects of dirty energy. And we, in my position specifically, work, I work a lot on promoting clean energy. And so when we had the opportunity to choose between competitively priced um, spaces, and one of them had solar thermal, solar PV was built on a reclaimed brownfield. There's just, you know, for me, I was, I was sold and pushing for this the whole time. What things have you done different with this project than previous projects? Art Space has now ventured into the green and sustainable uh, projects, including the solar, solar PV and solar hot water heating. What's the difference between solar PV and solar thermal? Solar PV um, pr uh, provides electricity and the solar thermal is for the hot water. For the solar PV, it was really important for us because not only does it um, reduce our electricity usage, um, it also provides shade on our solar awnings for each of the units on the south side. Wait, your solar PV is shading the units. How does that work? It is actually on an awning on the south facing sides of the building, so it provides shade to the units. Which keeps them cooler? Which keeps them cooler and cuts down on costs even more. That is very ingenious. I, I love when people get creative with green technology and that's a really cool idea. Tell us a little bit about your experience with Sunlight Solar, the people who installed your PV. Sunlight Solar, uh, working with Mark and his crew, have they've made it really easy for Art Space and for all of us. We have never used solar before. It is our first time. They have, um, when the idea of the solar awnings came up, they were very open to, uh, to it as well as helping us come up with a system to install it. Uh, they've been very easy to work with. Let's talk a little bit about the unique installation. Spectrum engineers uh, laid it out for us. We designed it, we built it with them, and we installed it, and it works out really well for the customers. Why should people come out and check out this particular project during the Utah Solar Tour? Well, they've got a couple of reasons. You're downtown Salt Lake. You can always go and grab a bite to eat, get a drink, do what you need to do. It's right around the corner. Plus, it's the art space. You can see what goes on here. Not only is there a solar thermal, passive solar, solar PV, but they have commercial uh, space here available too. You can check out Hill, Utah, Wasatch Community Gardens, and all the other retailers that are on the first floor of this. There's a so, bakery down there too. There is. There's a bakery. There's a tattoo shop. Get, yep. You can get your dog walked. Get a, get a tattoo while your dog's being walked. Yeah. Not bad. There you go. It's a good excuse for me. <laughs> <laughs> Loved Art Space Commons. You have got to come check it out. It's part of the Utah Solar Tour, September 24th, all over Utah. Check out the links below. Until next week, have a great green week. <laughs>